Welcome to Kid Venture and Merry Christmas! We are getting so close to the big day. Can you feel the excitement growing? I sure can. I look forward to seeing family and eating yummy food and opening up presents. Those are all fun things, aren't they? But there's something that makes me even more joyful. The best reason to have joy is Jesus. Hey, and they both start with the letter J. Jesus, joy, pretty cool. What's so important about Jesus coming? Why does he bring so much joy? The Christmas song, O Holy Night, puts it perfectly. Listen and look at the words of this song. It goes, O holy night, the stars were brightly shining. It is the night of our dear Savior's birth. Can you picture that? It was nighttime and the stars were out. Not everyone knew, but it was the night that Jesus was going to be born. Woo! Okay, let's look at the next line. It goes, Long lay the world in sin and error pining Till he appeared and the soul felt its worth What does that mean? Those are some confusing words. Well, it's saying the world was in a dark time. The people of the world were stuck in their sin and they were waiting and waiting and waiting for the day when God would rescue the people of the earth. Then it finally happened. Jesus was born at night in that little stable under a miracle star. Let's look at the next line. It goes, A thrill of hope The weary world rejoices For yonder breaks A new and glorious morn Oh, this is getting so good. It says hope started to grow inside of us because Jesus came to be our Savior. Woo! That hope grew bigger and bigger and bigger and starts to burst out of us in crazy, wonderful, awesome joy. Before Jesus came, we were in darkness. But because he came to earth, we can be rescued. Oh, and forgiven. Oh, and be part of God's family. Yeah! Hooray! Incredible! Can you guys feel the joy? Yes! Yes! I hope you can. I can't wait to get into today's lesson about joy and how Jesus is the gift of joy and gives us the gift of joy. Woo! I'm so excited to learn more about this joy that Jesus gives. Oh, see you later! <laughs> gang merry christmas to you christmas is almost here it's getting closer and closer every day six days from today is christmas some people say that christmas is their favorite holiday because it it involves so much joy have you ever felt really really happy one word for that is joy can everyone say joy joy excellent joy is gladness and we feel it deep, deep, deep down inside of our hearts. And I have to warn you, there is a lot of joy in this lesson, so get ready. So far this month, we've seen that Jesus brings hope. 
Remember the hope-filled clues that God sent? He sent the prophets prophecies that were filled with promises that Jesus would come. He sent the wise men a miracle star with the promise that a king would be born. And he sent Mary a miracle pregnancy that promised that a baby would be born. Then we saw that Jesus brings peace. The prophet Isaiah called Jesus the Prince of Peace. He has so much peace that he rules over it and can give peace to people who believe in him. Today we're learning that Jesus also brings joy. Joy is something lots of people talk about and even sing about at Christmas time. One of the world's most famous songs is Joy to the World. Do you remember why they were so joyful in this song? What's the next line after? Joy to the world. What's the next line? The Lord is come. Yep, they were excited and joyful that Jesus was coming down to earth. In fact, today we're going to use the word joy a lot. So let's make it something fun, okay? Every time you hear the word joy or joyful or rejoice or something that has joy in it, I want you to say, whoop, 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 whoop. Do you think you can handle it? Okay, first of all, let's everyone say, whoop, 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 whoop. Okay, so this is a practice. Um, say whoop, whoop every time you hear joy. I woke up this morning and I felt joy. They were having a joyful celebration. Whoop, whoop. Very good. I think you have it. Okay. God's people had been through some very hard times, but they still had hope that the prophecies about God sending the Messiah and Savior would come true. Two of those people were Zechariah and Elizabeth. They were very old and they had never had children. This made them very sad, but they continued to hope in God's plan to send a savior. Zechariah was a priest in God's temple. One day he had an amazing visitor. The Bible says that an angel of the Lord appeared to him standing beside the altar. Zechariah was shaken and afraid as you can imagine. But the angel said to him, do not be afraid. Zechariah, for God has heard your prayer. Your wife, Elizabeth, is going to give you a son and you will name him John. Then he said, you will have great joy and gladness and many will rejoice at his birth. He will turn many Israelites to the Lord their God and get this part. He will prepare the people for the coming of the Lord. Do you know who God was talking about? Right, Jesus. Zechariah and Elizabeth's son, John, would grow up to prepare the way for the Messiah, the Savior, the Son of God. You have probably heard of him. This new baby would grow up to be John the Baptist. And everything happened just as God had promised. About nine months later, Elizabeth had a baby. It was a miracle that filled their hearts with, you guessed it, joy. After the baby was born, Zechariah said his name would be John, just like the angel had told him. There was so much joy in Zechariah and Elizabeth's hearts as they welcomed this little baby John into their family. John's birth also meant something else. It meant that Messiah, the savior of the world, would be coming soon. Baby John would grow up to prepare people to meet Jesus, their savior. And Jesus would bring much joy whoop, whoop. to the world. That is a whole lot of joy. Whoop, whoop. Soon after baby John was born, another important baby was born. Can you guess who it was? Baby Jesus, that's right, the savior. Jesus' birth was a great time of joy. Whoop, whoop. Let me say that again, joy. Whoop, whoop. To prove it, God sent angels to the shepherds to bring them good news of great joy whoop, whoop. to everyone because Jesus was born. In Luke 2 verses 10 and 11, God says, do not be afraid. 
for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which will be to all people. For there is born to you this day in the city of David, a savior who is Christ the Lord. The Bible tells us the angel said, I bring you good news that will bring great joy to all people. The Savior, yes, the Messiah, the Lord, Jesus Christ, has been born today in Bethlehem, the city of David. Jesus gives joy because he can save us from sin and help us to be forever friends with God. Some people even celebrate the advent or arrival of Jesus by lighting a special candle to remind them that Jesus gives joy. Can you whisper that three times while I light this candle? In fact, keep whispering until it gets lit, okay? Jesus gives joy. Jesus gives joy. Jesus gives joy. Jesus gives joy. This candle has two wicks, so I'm gonna light both of them. Jesus gives joy. Jesus gives, come on, come on candle, <sighs> joy. As you celebrate Christmas this year, remember that Jesus gives joy. <laughs> joy <laughs> that we can be right with God and have our sins forgiven. Joy <laughs> that one day he will take us to be with him forever and everything that is wrong or sad or ugly in this world will be gone forever. Shout with me on the count of three. Jesus gives joy. Okay, ready? One, two, three. Jesus gives, Jesus joy. gives joy. One more time louder. Jesus gives, Jesus gives joy. joy. Excellent. Let's thank God for sending Jesus and bringing us joy. Let's pray. Thank you, God. Thank you so much for sending us Jesus and along with him, the love and peace and hope and joy that he brings. And I pray that those feelings would just be so strong in our hearts this season that, that there won't be room left for worry and anxiety and fear. Lord, I just pray that we will remember, even though there are presents to be opened, which is very exciting, that the main gift of all time to all people is your son, Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Okay, guys, we'll see you later. Have a good rest of the day. Bye. <laughs>